welcome or welcome back to a game of fangs and thrones my name's hannah this is a weekly reading vlog now yes i changed my nails so these are just some disney frenchies uh but you're not bothered about that so much but this week and probably next week will be focused on the Wheel of Time by Robert Jordan, specifically The Eye of the World, which is book one in the epic fantasy series that is The Wheel of Time, which I believe is now adapted on Amazon Prime. Now, last week I started this on Saturday, I think, and now 103 pages in, so I will try to remember the to not give spoilers or at least to warn when spoilers are coming up because uh, I've got to the point where I get to this book and I can't keep saying, you know, I'm enjoying it. We meet this character who does so, who does this, this and this. I will try to remember to have the book in my hand um, when I'm talking about it and when there is a risk of spoilers. Purely because... I can't go on not talking about this book. So, like I say, I'm on page 103, so I think anything up to this point is fairly okay for spoilers. But basically, I'll read the back, because it is very vague, and then we can go from there. So, when the village is attacked by terrifying creatures, Randall Thor and his friends are for forced to flee for their lives. An ancient evil is stirring, and its servants are scouring the land for the dragon reborn, the prophesied hero who can deliver the world from darkness. In this age of myth and legend, the wheel of time turns. What was, what may be, and what is, may yet fall under the shadows. Very vague synopsis. But basically, what's happened so far... I will be talking up to this point is that we've met Rand, we've met Arden, and we've met three of his other friends and his father, and we've gotten to grips with the world. We've met a few characters who I think are going to have more of an impact as the story goes on, whose names I've forgotten because I am terrible. But we get this through Rand's perspective. And Rand is a young... I want to say he's probably about 15, 16. Maybe 17 years old. And he lives in a village in two rivers with his dad, Tam. And they live on a farm. And everything's tickety-boo until bell time. Which is a f spring festival. I think it's the end of winter, beginning of spring festival. When things start to go a bit pear-shaped, Rand sees a creature, a figure in black, when they are moving cider and other such things from their farm to the village through the woods. And there have been rumours that things aren't as they seem this time round. So there's that. Then Rand gets into the village, he realises that nobody... None of the adults have e have seen this creature either. There's only a couple of his friends have. A mysterious lady um, comes into the village and gives everybody who's seen the rider a coin. They don't think much more of it, but vow not to spend the coins. Then Car the Trolloc, I have to be very careful how I say that, attack and these are monstrous half human half animal creatures they seem to have attacked the village and the neighboring farms so rand manages to dispatch one with his father's hidden sword and his father is also rambling about his dead mum and i think he's going to die which is always fun but that's probably the catalyst that starts off not only this book but the whole adventure so i will see how i get on with this it is interesting it's reading for very adult um 
but it's not a hard read it's just a very mature read like old classic fantasy and i shall come back to you when i have more to say or something happens this is just becoming my update spot uh some lighting i think uh but this is just the headboard uh but still reading the wheel of time um today's wednesday as you know i don't tend to get much reading or vlogging done on on a normal tuesday uh because of rehearsal i sort of have my tea chill for a bit before leave for about half leave half se half six to get there for half seven well i say get there for half seven i get there earlier than that and then just have about half an hour to chill before work um and then that's on until half nine so then i get home and i'm pretty much just ready to drop so and i slept so that's that and i slept in this morning the alarm went off at six i thought i put it on snooze and then woke up at like 20 past six luckily i wasn't luckily i was able to get myself back up and whatnot but it was still a bit of a oh hang on moment so note to self no snooze just get up um and i have updated my i didn't journal last night but i never really do on a tuesday unless um i am not tired or whatnot uh but I did order a few things yesterday and I'm trying this thing where I try not to buy random rubbish. So I have a goal where I can only spend twice spend money twice a, at least um so I can only spend money twice a week. Uh bills and petrol doesn't count. Because I kinda need petrol and I need to pay my bills. So I ordered next year's planner and set up a subscription with the planner and the subscription are with stern and ink because i love her designs and that planner is what i want to is well i'm sure you've seen it but it's the common play common planner it's basically the orbanichi setup where you have your yearly page and your monthlies your weeklies and then dailies, but the daily pages are undated. So I can, so there will be days where I write more and some days where I write less. And I got the undated one because they were in stock and I didn't want to miss out on getting a, a planner because I thought I would miss the pre-order. So I'll just get the undated one and stick my own stickers in, which is where their subscription comes in. So... I will show, probably show you that when that comes in in, in a vlog. Um, same with my next lot of glamour, glam made nails. These ones are Lady Truce from Etsy. I think I've told you. Uh, but I like these ones. They're fancy. Uh, they got compliments at rehearsal last night too. But book talk. Now remember, if I'm holding the book, it is a spoiler. If I'm not holding the book, it's a general talk. Uh, but we are 127 pages in and Rand has literally just started his journey. Um, I think this is going to be a very traditional fantasy story in the sense that it will follow that hero's journey structure and we will probably have some archetypes. And... It, this feels classic now in 2023, but I bet in the 90s when it was written, it was very, uh, what's the word? Not um, ambi ambitious? Maybe. Um, but it's, it would have been groundbreaking at its time because now we can see the influences from everything else. I think, um... Game of Thrones came after, but I can see the influences of Tolkien, Game of Thrones, and other 
classic fantasy books of the time. But we are going into spoiler territory. Okay, so I'm assuming if you're still watching at this point, you don't mind spoilers. Um, but I still think Rand is going to be the Dragon Reborn. I know it's probably obvious, but you know, we tend to follow the heroes in these books. And I don't know what else to tell you. Because I, I know we are spoil in spoiler territory, but I don't really have that much to spoil. Um, other than Rand just seems like a general young fantasy protagonist. Um, and I love the way we say Trolloc. Because <laughs> in, in a certain accent, that would sound like Trollop. Which is not nice. I mean, the Trollocs aren't nice either. Oh, but... We have Matt and Rand and two others, I believe, who are probably all going to go on an adventure together and become the Band of Merry Men. And I will be interested to see where that comes from. Um, I think this one is going to be more set up than plot, but it's still, still really engaging. And I think... That's it for this update. This is going to be a very odd vlog. I think it's going to be a very short one because I've got nothing I can tell you. Not without fear of spoilers. And I don't want to give somebody an accidental spoiler. Even though I, you know. But. Hey ho. Hey ho. Let's go. Sorry I was listening to that song earlier. I will take the braids out tomorrow because it's getting I'll probably do it tomorrow morning because it's getting very frizzy but they've lasted the nails were lasting but they were too long and I couldn't really type and I type at work so we've switched to these ones from Glamour Made and I think they're very pretty just like smoke type doodah uh, it's 25 past 7 and it is still gloriously bright and my big head covers this cap perfectly um, but yeah it's 25 past 7 it's still very bright outside no wonder I've been no wonder I've been waking up early and in terms of reading I am still working my way through the Eye of the World and I think that's probably going to come over into next month with me because uh, I think I've told you so many times before this is a 700 and odd page book and I am on page 194 I've made a decent chunk but I still have all of this to go um, at this point, the adventure 
has started to Hello, dragon. But the adventure has started and things are starting to heat up. Um, spoiler incoming in three, two, one. I'm liking the way Egwene, Egg Egwene, this character is developing so far. She's going to be our link into the magic. It's still feeling very traditional, but I am liking how R is Sedea characters, our witchy characters, the females aren't being overshadowed too much and it doesn't feel too male gaze heavy. The women aren't just there to further the plot, they're not just there as the love interests. So yeah, I am enjoying it. Don't know if it's giving five star vibes, but like I say, we still have a long way to go. And that's the end of the book update. I'm still very much enjoying the little piece of magic vibes I'm getting. Uh, vibes, muse, creativity. Either way, I have wrote something every night this week, apart from Tuesday. Because Tuesday we don't do much. We go sing and mime and act. But I had a goal for this week. And I'll probably go over this on Sunday as well. Uh, but I had a goal for this week to spend... To have five days at least where I don't spend any money. I've spent money twice this week already. But it's Friday tomorrow and... To be honest, I didn't pack up. Um, so that's all I bought today. Oh, the bottle of pop. So that's nothing really. Um, I had to go to finish another chapter of Little Piece of Magic, and I think I'm halfway through, if not three quarters of the way through chapter eight. And then the other goal was to do two squares of the Disney crochet, which I will probably do. At the weekend, just because I like doing that. I like taking my time with that. And I don't want to be faffing too much when I'm getting in the routine, in the nighttime routine. Oh, excuse me. So I have my pop just out of. Oh, here it is. Um, I have my writing set up, which is an oversized traveler's notebook, basically. I have my book. I've already showed you. And my journal is just out of reach, but that's a similar setup to the writing one. I have A5 books in there. One being my hope in each cousin. Uh, the writer's notebook and my reading journal. And I have YouTube ready to go. And we're just going to chill for the next couple of hours. I don't think I'm going to come back and update you because... I don't know what I can say. So it's Saturday. It's actually 10 o'clock, I could be wrong. Oh, 11, so I was wrong. Um, I've had a Evan, well, not an adventure mo morning, but a productive i'd say so i went to the post office to post a friend post a parcel back to a friend and i read a bit i sorted out my travel card for paris um i'm just getting one of those multi currency cards from the post office i've had one before and it's so warm mm. anybody remember what this is from is it remember Empire. I know I got in a fairy loot of a Lumicro box, but I like their cups. Uh, but back on track. Um, Thursday night, I did actually finish the chapter 8 of A Little Piece of Magic. So that's one goal of the week done. I did spend money today sending my parcel and getting my breakfast. But it was a necessity. 
The breakfast wasn't a necessity, but the parcel and the travel money were. And I've been reading. Again, still reading at the Wheel of Time. Well, the Eye of the World. I'm sorry, this vlog is going to be so boring because that's all I've been doing all week. Reading one book, and you know what? I'm going to take my time with it because I am enjoying it and I've actually gotten further than I thought. But I've just filmed my June, well, my July TBR. When you see this vlog, that video will probably be up, but there they are. Plus a Kindle book and obviously finishing off the Eye of the World. So, yay. Oh, and this afternoon I am going out to a car and bike show. So I'll probably get some footage from that if it's not too busy. Even if it is. There's cars. I like cars. Oh, so. The rest of the day will just be spent melting. Because it's still very hot. In case you couldn't tell, I'm British. I'm allowed to complain about when it's hot. I'm not built for heat. But. Uh, I'm just in awe of how much of a decent chunk I've actually made in here and spoilers incoming in three two one i think we're about to meet a character who can talk to wolves what more can i say but um if you know about this book um the gang have been unfortunately split up also the perspectives we're getting a shift in this perspective rather it's all third person anyway um third person omniscient and see because we get thoughts and feelings but we're not necessarily in the person's head so yeah i'd say that's omniscient but the main the bulk of the story was following rand because i think he is going to be the dragon reborn because i think that's just the way this book's going but i am interested to see why uh, Perrin, Matt, and there's another one I'm sure, but his name's escaped me. But why they are being brought along as well, be interesting to see that. Egwini, I kind of figured, would be either a love interest or a link into the magical system. I think she's going to train to be an Ace Sedai, who I know are one of Becca from Becca in the books' favourite perspective in this series, so it'll be interesting to learn about them. Can we just take a moment about how nice my hair is being today? I know it's frizzy, but I'm liking the curls. Well, waves. Whatever you want to call them. I like this. Um, this is what my hair wants to do all the time. I just don't always have the time or patience to do it. Anywho, that wasn't a spoiler, but... What was I saying? Oh yes, Egwini. And she... So Egwini is with Perrin and they're just about to meet a character who I'm very interested in. Uh, Rand, Matt and Thom the Gleeman are in one part and then Lam, Moraine and Naivi are another. So we're getting that split perspective now so the story is starting to pick up not that it's been boring it's just been slow and world buildy plot buildy and tension buildy so this is starting to get more i've always been intrigued but i think the intrigue level is just heating up that bit more and i'm really enjoying it <laughs> i think you know when that's the end of the spoilers uh, but you'll know that when i like a book i struggle to talk about it when i don't like a book i end up months about it so yeah let's just take this fact that i can't say anything about this book is a good thing so i am enjoying it uh, but i'll pop these on my little tbr trolley which is here which has the blanket just casually hanging off it and then I'll probably just read until it's time to go to the show. If we could run it, if 
we could run it back and do you wonder if we could run it back if we could run it if we could run it back and do you wonder if we could run it back writer's notebook on my left and we have the manuscript notebook on my right so you can tell what I've been doing this morning I wrote a couple of scenes um, at work in that dead time when nothing was happening so now I'm just popping them into place in the uh, big notebook And I don't really think there's much more to say. I am still working my way through uh, the eye of the world. But let's be honest, I'm not going to finish that in a week. I think even the best reader would struggle to finish that in a week. Uh, just because of how slow it can be and how actually big the book itself is. So... I'll probably just get up to date with the writing, do some chores in the house, do some jobs, and then keep writing. I'm feeling inspired, and I'm going to work with it. Um, My July TBR went up this morning, so if you're watching this vlog, when it comes out, it was up yesterday. Why does that always confuse me when people say stuff like that? But, anywho... There's that. Um, I am going to try and do Summerween this year, but I'll do that in its own vlog, in its own video. Um, because one, I don't know what I'm going to read, and two, I forgot about it when filming the DBR. So we'll just see what comes of that, and I don't really know what more to tell you. Sundays are lazy days, which is why I like finishing the vlogs on them. Uh, but, yeah, it is what it is. Just popping in to wrap up this vlog. It's quarter to four, so I think that's late enough on a Sunday. Um, no further reading done, but I am still enjoying the eye of the world. I just had other things I wanted to do today. Um, updating it the manuscript for a little piece of magic and setting up the month for July in my Hobonichi um, I say setting it up there'll still be things that I add to it going through the month which is fine um, and then obviously setting up next week's uh, with the spread I don't think I'm going to show you these just because they're not um, they're not exactly pretty and they are some of them some of it is quite personal but um, what I did also work on which I might show you one day is my June stats well, I filled them Fold them in for June, so it's um, 
total, pa total pages read in the month, roughly. Uh, how many? Five stars. That kind of thing for a video that I will put up next Sunday. Uh, just because I thought it'd be fun. Uh, these aren't the um, wrap-ups. It isn't the review of what I've read in the sense I'm telling you how I feel about it. It's a review in the sense that I read so many paperbacks this month. I read so many hardbacks. I read so many middle grade. I read so many fantasy books. Let's be honest, the fantasy sort of going to be higher. But be interesting to see what else I read. So that video will be coming on next Sunday, so next week. And I don't have the books to hand, but... Oh, yes, I do. I have the one my mum's reading. She's reading The Last Magician. This is my book, so it counts. But with that, I'm going to sign off on this vlog. So if you like whatever this vlog was, give it a like and hit that subscribe button if you want to see this. Talk about these and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.